If you thought yellow jackets were the only wasps out there, you got another thing coming. Here are six of the coolest wasps I've ever seen in the wild. This is an ichneumon wasp. They're parasitoids of insects called sawflies. They don't sting people. Instead, they use that stinger, or ovipositor, to pierce tree bark and lay eggs deep inside a tree so the larvae can feed on sawfly larvae. Here's a mud dauber wasp. They prey on spiders and bring them back to little mud nests to feed their larvae. Adults can't eat solid food because of their thin waists, so they eat nectar instead. This is a pelicinid wasp. They look freaky, but they can't sting you. They're actually parasitoids of June beetles. They stick that long abdomen underground and lay their eggs on the beetle grubs. Then the larvae eat the grub. Here's a cuckoo wasp. They're what's called a kleptoparasite. They lay their eggs inside other bee and wasp hives, and their larvae eat the host larvae and their food. This is a cicada killer wasp. They're really scary looking, but they're not interested in humans. They use their stingers to paralyze cicadas. Shocker, I know. Then bring them back to their underground nest to feed their larvae. Uh, starting to see a pattern here. This is a spider wasp. Once again, they're parasitoids. It's the same song and dance as cicada killers, but these guys focus on spiders. At this point, you know the drill. What's cool is that the wasps in this video were almost all solitary. They don't form colonies or hives like yellow jackets or bees. There are over 150,000 species of wasps and bees in the world, and I wanted to make this video to give you just a taste of their incredible diversity. So what animal and nature stuff do you want to see next? Follow my channel and let me know in the comments.